Thursday afternoon, and I'm early. We'll be scattered with a few unknown faces. How did this come about, this meeting of two completely different worlds? Um, I first of all started writing poetry songs and I've been performing them about six years ago around cabaret events a cappella and I decided that I wanted to knit them all together and create a story and me and Mike had met in a bar about five years ago and um, kept in contact and then I decided that I wanted a musician and I'd heard Mike's playing and thought that would be perfect, perfect combination for the piece. If you were to describe the story to someone who's not been in the presence of the double bass and the, and the singing and the dancing, how would you describe it to someone who might come and see it at Studio Salford? It's a contemporary urban fairy tale with real truths of humanity, really. Um, and it's about a woman who becomes tin quite early on in her life and then how she deals with the world around her in relation to being someone who is made out of tin metaphorically. How are you expecting audiences to, to take this? Because it's something that's pretty new. It is, yeah, it's definitely something that's new. And I, we've kind of obviously experimented with movement, with storytelling, with poetry and with the music as well. Um, and I think what I'd like is just for people to go with it because it will be quite a fantastic, fantastical little adventure through a bit of a crazy world. Then the doors of the bar swing open. Yes, I come from Romania. I come from a very old musician's family, and uh, I've been trained in Romania at the music school there, and the, the conservatory were there. And then I got a, immediately after the Romanian Revolution, I got a scholarship to study at Royal Northern College of Music. We are trying to break in, into new territory because a double bass singer, actor, and double bass solo player—it's some, something quite new. I mean. Did you hear about this any uh, somewhere before? So we didn't. So that's why we thought it would be a very good idea because as an artist, you try to be original as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Quite courageous journey putting it together because exactly. our first rehearsal, yeah. I kind of went home going, "This is never going to work. This is just crazy." Yes, it was actually it was a very difficult it process to start right. with because yeah. we were trying to find a way to make it work because as a piece of theatre, and actually it's musical theatre, isn't it? Yeah. You have to have a way to uh, like, uh, put across your ideas and make them work on stage. It was a challenge for me uh, to try to express uh, uh, with my musical knowledge uh, um, right melodies to match uh, uh, Kate's idea, because her language is very rich. Across the barroom floor now you're kissing her, and she is kissing you too. The only thing that's comparable where you have live music and dance hall is, is musical theatre, yes. really. And yes. This is just nothing like that. At all. Exactly, it isn't, but. It's not really like a conventional musical. Mm. Um, if anything, it's a bit more like Into the Woods or something like that. Um, because, of, because I've merged my background of acting and writing with music and poetry, it's something different. I think it's different probably because of the poetry, actually, because it's not a normal kind of... It doesn't have a set formula to it. It's a bit chaotic, but within that chaos, it works really well. I think it's because we are just two people on stage. It's a dialogue between an actor and a, 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 a bass player. And this dialogue makes me be an actor as well, but instead of acting back with words to Kate, I act back with my music. I do not make music just to lift the story. I am part of the story and I'm making music from within. Fascinating, and we shall certainly come and review it, obviously. Oh, great. Um, oh, great, yes. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank thank you, you for doing this, yeah.